Whoa, guys, what we have here is something we've been waiting for for a long time from Bisbee. We've been asking Bisbee for this for years now. You know what it is? You know what is this? You know what's inside of this box? Well, let's find out. By the way, guys, Bisbee did send this over for me to make a video for you guys. But I totally love Bisbee going back many, many years. Never let me down. So in here, let's take a look what we have in here. Of course, control remote, a new kill switch. This is a charging brick. It's big because, you know, let me just show you the brick right here. It's big because of this right here. Let me show you what this is. All right. This is a brand new Bisbee battery. And the cool thing about this battery is that, look at it, it's huge. It's like, I don't know how many times the capacity of the old one. What I do know is that you can go two full hours, nonstop, maximum speed with this battery. And if you go lower speeds, I think you could go like 24 hours. That means you could go really far. But guess what, guys? What I want to do today is I want to take it on the water and run it straight for two hours, maximum speed, while I'm trolling on the salty PDL to see if we catch anything. Another cool thing about this battery has gear tracks. And I thought of the perfect thing to put right here on this gear track. Now, it only has the charging port and the motor port. That's it because this battery is designed especially for those people who were power hungry, who wanted to go the distance. Guys, everything we talk about in this video, and there's gonna be other products, it's gonna be linked down below in the description. Affiliate links, when you buy through them, we do get a commission, and thank you for that. So, let's take it over here. Let's put the battery right here in the tank well. Now, <laughs> this is a heavy battery because of the capacity that you have. So, you know, it is what it is. If you want the light battery, get the small one. If you need more power, get this one. Well, that, that was easy. It's already plugged in. Wow, that's nice. Now, <laughs> all right guys, so inside you got gear bolts, nut bolts, and bolts that you could basically just loosen it up a little bit. So you take it out and you put what you need. Uh, in this case, you could put um, an adapter for Nyak attack. Just roll it in there. Take a look at this. Boom, you see that? You could put it on over here too. And once you're there, you just lock it down and boom. Now, what we're gonna put in here is the PC Carbon Pro. Oh my God, this is a dream setup. I know I've been telling you guys a lot like how pedal drive kayaks are dead, but this is no longer a pedal drive kayak. It has a Bisbee. This thing has been Bisbeefy. This thing has been made extra perfect. This is an amazing fishing kayak right here. We got a salty PDA from Old Town. It used to be an excellent price, but of course with everything, prices went up. And of course, why would an Old Town raise their prices too if everyone else is not saying anything, just saying what it is. But this, this boat right now, it has been ultra bispy side. Not just ultra, but ultra, ultra bispy side because look at this. This is a new high super capacity battery from Bisbee. Now we could run this thing at maximum speed for two full hours. And it has an extra speed, speed 13. And we're gonna take it on the water right now. My goal is to go all the way to Chicken Key, maximum speed, troll on the way, and then come back because I have a birthday to, to work on for tomorrow. <laughs> so look at this thing. One quick thing, you see the BC Carbon Pro right there? This thing has gear tracks. This is killer, bro. But here's the thing. I mean, set it up the way that it's gonna work for you. Put it on the side, put it somewhere else. I just put it here today because this is all I'm gonna be using today. But you could put it somewhere else. Now let's go. Now, I wanna mention something. This blue dot kayak cart. Let's see how it does taking it into the water. Uh, it's been outside for, for months and it's still somehow uh, in one piece. <laughs> All right, so I have the kayak car kind of like in, in the middle. So basically doing no effort whatsoever. Whoa, this is nice. Some B-roll shots right there. Dude, this is so nice. So 
No, it's okay, it's okay, sorry. Okay, right, thank you. God, oops. They need to fix this, man. Look at all these things. You, you got something? No, I'm moving out of your way. No. Uh. Sorry about the look, guys. I know that doesn't look sexy at all right there, but I, I didn't feel like taking it back to the car. And I don't want to break it down either. Sorry about the wind. I could bring the pedals out, but here's the thing. Uh, it's just going to open up like the dry well. All the water is going to get inside the boat and it's not going to add any speed to it, really. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to fish and we're going to throw all the way to uh, probably chicken keep, but the tide's coming down. So we're going to go deep to kind of like clear this area and then just go. That's my goal for today. Let's start fishing. This wouldn't be the perfect condition for me to test this battery so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this little battery on the lake on a different kayak and really test the speed with this extra speed number 13 but, but for now have it at 13 and going plus four miles an hour that, don't know exactly how fast i'm going but i'm going at least four miles an hour but there is a lot of condition things here that like will prevent me from doing a real test to compare it to the previous battery and the speed all that stuff so we're gonna do that later in a different video for now let's just get to fishing normally i would like be pedaling and have the beast speed in the back doing its thing at the same time but two things one i want to test the range of this battery have a maximum speed i want to see if it allows me to go maximum speed all the way to chicken key i'm back without having to regulate it like before and two i'm eating a snack so yeah just for a little bit just for a little bit i want to like test pedaling and this thing on the back dude i feel like i'm going 10 miles an hour for real this feels so good dude i do have to give it a little bit of extra effort to keep up with the bisbee because the bisbee is going faster than i want to pedal like but man it, i feel like i'm going at least six miles an hour without much effort I'm tired. <laughs> a lot of fun. <laughs> that thing even creates a wake. Look at that. That thing is going so fast. It's definitely creating a wake. I would say at least 20 miles an hour that guy is going. Maybe faster than that. With the wind. This is crazy. How? I mean, the wind is not going 20 miles an hour. He may be. Look at the wake he's creating. Well guys, we have hit shallow water, so the drive nor the BSP is going to work in shallow water, so it's time to bring the old paddle. Wow, what a difference. It's so beautiful to have an island that, like this one that basically shields you from all the wind. And the wind is coming from the east, going to the west, right? Kind of like going northwest, the wind sort of. But, uh, and it's being blocked by here. If the wind was coming from the west towards the east, south, or just straight east, it will, on the other side, it will block it. But I love when it's blocked in this area because this is where I normally fish, this is where the fish are, right? On the other side, there's a bunch of kudas, but it's not the same. It's not the same, and over here you can get snappers, nooks, and a lot of other stuff. Now, we're gonna get out of here. It looks like it's deep enough to get out to the channel and hit the motor, uh, motor, and hit the motor at maximum speed and just make it back home. Guys, listen to the wind. That's not a highway on the other side there's just open sea but you could hear like a highway <laughs> like a lot of cars passing by that's the wind that's how nasty the wind is today this is no joke these are heavy conditions i'm pedaling because i want to get home faster because this weather is not nice and it's really nice to have the bisbee in the back dude really nice look at this do you see that like seriously this is not nice weather condition. Heck no. 
Do you see that one? God! Woo! That was scary, man! <laughs> I saw it coming! It could have flipped me, but I saw it coming, man! Like I knew something was up! Don't know what this is. What is this, guys? That's Jack Bell for a second. I thought it was um. What is it? I thought it was a yellow jack or a blue runner. But the beautiful news is, guys, we're not skunk. And the beautiful news is. Oh my god, look at this weather, dude. Oh, I, don't, I, was, I was about to lift this guy. That's not good, Alex. Oh my god, Alex. You were about to lift this guy. <laughs> not good. Oh, look at this fence, man. It's, this is a jocker bell. It's not a yellow yak. This thing is pure muscles, dude. Man, what a beautiful jocker bell. Maybe it's a combination. This this fish looks weird. Comment below. Oops. Uh, comment below what, what it was. It looks like a jack rebel, but it could be uh, a combination of a jack and a yellow jack. Could be. It could have been a yellow jack. If it was, that would have been tasty. I thought about keeping, even if it was um, jack rebel. I thought about keeping it, but nah. Then I wanna mess up with fish. So I wanna try something guys. I'm gonna hit the beast up. I'm gonna lift the motor, the drive up. And I'm gonna see if I land. <laughs> when I hit the, the ground, the bispy should be on the water and the boat should just go up. Let's see. And this is why this is why I didn't wanna bring this up before because you see all the water like Chris drag i mean if i put a plate there and bring the motor up then yeah maybe we're about to hit the ground dude we're about to hit the ground see what happens whoa perfect perfect now let's see how much battery we have left oh my god we basically use it numb stuff for i don't know what time it is Five or nine. At three something we were on the water. So let's say two hours non-stop. Sort of non-stop. And this thing has a lot of battery left. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So it may run more than two hours. So for all of you who's gonna complain about this being on the inflatable PFD, this is what's gonna happen if it gets inflated, falls down. So it's not gonna stop it. It's just lightly tidy on the inflatable vest so if i do fall in the water and it gets inflated it just falls to where it is right now 